So the first uh, we have is called Windows on Literacy. Okay. Um, so this, as it shows, is, uh, is pre-K to three. And within this series, uh, Windows, uh, National Geographic Windows on Literacy breaks the reader up uh, into levels called Step Up, Emergent, Early, Fluent, and Fluent Plus. And you can see the sort of the reading levels there uh, within each of these. These are all books based around science and social studies themes. Mm -hmm. So for instance, in the Step Up here, um, we have animals around us, plants around us, healthy me, uh, take a look. We have science inquiry, physical science, earth and space science, and life science. We can see we're going up through the leveling, but we all have the consistent, uh, the consistent science inquiry, physical science, all science and social studies okay. themes. Uh, we, or you can purchase in individual singles or in six packs. Okay, I see these little sets here at the top, so they come like that in a. You can get them in a big, uh, a big kit for. And them. again, yeah. I'm assuming these are connected on the chart to the DRA levels. Or yep. is there... there is uh, there is connections, okay. uh, straight connections right. to those. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can show it in the catalog, actually. Yeah. So within the, uh, within the individual series, you can see that each individual book has a guided reading level. So we've got C, D, F, and, uh, and I will provide a copy, but at the back of our catalog is that level okay, comparison very chart. Nice. Yeah, right. so well, we, can, we can take the PM well, levels the and compare it to guided reading nice. or DRA or key links, which we were looking at earlier, mm -hmm. or if something uses a Lexile level. Okay. And that all corresponds to individual grades and where they should... Uh, okay, that's very convenient. Yeah. Oh, series, series, one of our, um, right. yeah. called Ladders. Yeah. Uh, it's made for grades three to five, but it's called ladders because you'll see here we have four rungs to the ladder. Okay. And these rungs represent two below reading level, one below, okay. on level, or one above. Right. So you can actually have the same book, and I've got the two oh, okay. below and the yeah. one above. It's the same book, looks the exact right. same, but as we get into the inside of the book, we can see that can they're see clearly the at different yeah. reading levels. And how many oh. books are in this series? Um, depending on uh, if you're looking at a science or a social studies theme, uh, there's up to 16 books, and then you can have different levels. But yeah, 16 different books within each grade series. Okay. So if we were looking at a grade three set, but going two below reading level, that would actually bring us to sort of like a late, or sorry, an early grade two mm -hmm. from that grade three set. Right, yeah, so that's that's interesting. We mm -hmm. might be able to find a use for those. Yeah. And that's the catalog, so it shows you all the titles. Yeah, so it's a nice little brochure here. Uh, breaks down all of the titles, be it life science, earth science, or physical science in the science portion. Or then we also have um, straight uh, science and social studies readers as well. So the actual series is called Ladders. Ladders, yeah. Yes, and what would be, give me an example of a title in there, in, in that Ladders, is there a specific? Yeah, okay. so within, uh, within the grade plants. three, we have Amazing Plants, but within Amazing Plants, then you get three different stories that are all okay. focused on all right. plants. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, this last set of little readers that we have uh, is another uh, product that we represent from Houghton Mifflin, uh, and these are called Science and Engineering Readers. So I've got the Grade 2 kit here. So these are leveled readers, all based around science themes. So you can see here, how can I think like a scientist? Science and Engineering themes. How do engineers solve problems? Why are resources important? Uh, within the books themselves, um, they have a nice little uh, introduction for the students in terms of like, hey, look for the highlighted words, uh, look for the underlining. These are important either questions or important topics, mm -hmm. important themes that are covered uh, throughout the, the text here. So we can see the underlying. Okay, well, here we have a question and we have natural resources being highlighted and human-made resources. So again, uh, a little book, lo leveled reader, all around uh, science and engineering themes. 
And at the end of the book, um, you have uh, little questions, little projects for the students to do. So based on this book itself, uh, we can either ask the students to make a poster or write a sentence. And each of them obviously is, uh, is different, but they all have sort of similar themes. Use science to investigate. Describe a plan to investigate ice. And how long has this series been around? Is it uh, relatively new? Uh, this is a little bit of an older series. Houghton okay. Mifflin has had it. We yeah. at Nelson have only had this uh, okay. for just under a year now. Okay. Um, but there is, a, there is a nice little teacher's resource okay. that, uh, that comes with this book as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and within it, you have um, uh, activities that the, the children can do okay. as and well. It's a, sort of. it's a print resource. It is. Yeah. So again, our question here would be, because it is an older series, um, how about being culturally re relevant and, and diverse diversity with yeah, the there, series. Yeah, there wouldn't so be, you know, not, when, it, when not as significant as there would have been in the new in the new PM, PM or in our Under One Sun okay. series. Yes. All right, so these these older books are not going to have that kind of uh, range of yeah. But when we're talking about plants and animals, for okay. instance, you know, a plant right. is a plant, right? Yes, right. Yeah.